place your bets, people. Milty, who do you think is going to come out <laughs> on top of this game? I just wanted to rant about uh, you being in my stream and not me being in your stream, so that was my sentence. Oh, right. Um, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. No Take problem. Up. Okay, so um, here we see Blessed Spartan versus Milty. Um, <laughs> referee battle. <laughs> Round one. Round one. Who can scream the loudest when something dies? That will be Whatever. the first. Battle. Okay, so I will take care of the red corner. So it is DJ right. Ruffer playing his Chaos Lord and going for some Space Marines and a nice speed worship to get the Chaos Lord out uh, into capping business a little bit faster. Right, and we have Ace of Swords playing as Elixir Alpha, infiltrating hero for the Tyranid army, can disrupt steel units by picking them up with his gigantic penis. I mean, Elixir Alpha tongue! That shoots from his chest. Fun. Um, Fun. I want to uh, remind you that we might have underage people in this oh. stream, so... Oh, I'm so sorry. I will refrain from any other... <laughs> Okay. It's Loki, he still influenced me. Yeah, Rafa goes directly for the cap on the central victory point and for a second heretic squad. And we have Ace of Swords going for W Termagants, and we're also getting some spawn mines out. Infiltrated coming against the Chaos Lords. Looks so like yeah. he's just in him out. Spartan, what, what do you think? Um, both the Chaos Lord and the Electro Alpha are um, thought of to be a very strong 1v1 heroes. Um, I think Chaos has the advantage a bit early on, just for the fact that the Chaos Lord is very durable. And as you can see, like, look at the way he's tanking that damage. Um, he is very slow, but once he gets a shield, for example, and obviously with Heretic support, DJ Ruffer has gone double Heretics, which means he'll be probably using a lot of worship. Um, I think Ruffer will have the advantage here. He just has to be careful about the spawn mines that will probably run into his, or fly into his, um, Heretics. Yeah. And the Chaos Lord doing what he does best, just to rest the shit out of the Gaunt. Meanwhile, the uh, Lictor Alpha and some Homogons are trying to harass all this uh, CSMs and some uh, Heretics, and there's the Spore Mines, so. Oh no. Well, so we might lead a model from these Chaos Mines. No, they managed to escape out of there, and whoa, whoa. Ace probably could have actually just <laughs> he, moved his. I, um, I, I, We've well, just it, it, gone away and exploded in the middle of those heretics without taking any damage. Chaos Lord still up top, somehow yeah, managed used, to tank this damage. He must have used to kill the weak. Yeah. A, a nice kill the weak, to be honest. Yeah. And while Ace of Swords was microing, he probably didn't realize that. And look, he's dropping models, and that just proves how annoying the Chaos Lord can be. Really? Um, but he looks like he is going to have to retreat now. Yeah, and Rafa is decapping the uh, fully mature natural red point. So, very annoying start for, uh, mm. for Ace of Swords. And who is, he is going for some warriors, and we see Havocs on the field for Rafa. Havoc suppression unit, very effective. They suppress instantly, so as soon as they are able to set up and fire, the squad in their range will be suppressed instantly. Is that for like all squads in like within the range of their firing? So within the firing arc, or is that just the one that they actually hit that um, gets suppressed instantly? It's, um, I think the... Uh, Courage damage spreads to nearby units, but not the actual damage. Right. And I think it's not uh, each uh, unit in the firing arc, since you can flank it um, a little bit inside the arc without getting suppressed. Right. Um, let's have some trouble. Very dangerous spot for DJ Ruffer. Has to force retreat, manages to um, use a Doom Blast on by his heretics on those warriors, suppressing them. But these Chaos Space are also going to have to get out there. Yeah, the Spore Mines being a huge pain. Flesh hook on oh! the screens and takes one of the members down. <laughs> <laughs> so piss off, and also lost the. Did he just lose a heritage squad? Oh yeah. damn! The oh, the damn. Uh, the spawn mines exploded and killed the full heritage squad. And this was an upgraded uh, heritage squad with a inspired champion, I think. That is brutal. That is brutal. Oh yeah. So not a great start for um, DJ Ruffer. Has got the most amount of control, or most amount of control is getting taken back by Ace of Swords, but. He's going to replace that squad. Luckily, that wasn't the one with the Aspiring Champion. So, it won't be too costly. However, that might slow down his tech and him getting upgrades or um, an extra generator. Yeah, it's it's, it is a triple cap for Ace of Swords. A short one for sure, but it is. Um, and uh, Ace of Swords went for double Toxin Sacks, apparently. Double Toxin Sacks? What do Toxin Sacks do? And the Alpha is level 2 already. Alright, oh, so Toxin Sacks, okay. So that slows the unit and crippling shot. 
very effective against the Chaos Lords. He's going to need that. Oh, yeah. Uh, so nothing on the dark. Do you think the castle will be going for a shield then? Or no, in fact, go for the combi bolter. Combi flamey bolter. Oh, yeah. Very decent choice for the Tyranids in general. And any racers that can kite him very, uh, mm. effectively. Yeah. It's very, very good against scouts. When I'm, when I'm playing against Curse Lord, I always find that weapon to be a huge problem. And yeah. these Havocs <laughs> running into that Chaos, li into Chaos Lictor, into that Lictor, who flips all of them back. Probably going to try and take a model off one of these guys. Chaos Space Marines coming to try and support, but those guys are probably going to go down. There's no Heretics to slow this Lictor. And there's a Sync Kill on that Chaos Space Marine, chopped into little pieces. Yeah, and this uh, Heretics now are in dire trouble, really. Um, mm. The Lictor Alpha has upgraded to the size of Talons, so... Gives him a nice power melee weapon, I think. Suppresses enemies. Oh, it gives him ability that suppresses enemies, I want to say. Yeah. Heretics, meanwhile, are bashing power and, and are in a lot of trouble, but there's the emulate ability from the Chaos Lord. Good emulate on those um, Homogons forced into a tree. Alpha, 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 Alpha is standing behind those um, Havocs. Oh, okay. I don't know what them. these Havocs were doing here <laughs> over here, but yeah. Uh, I don't know. And, and this Chaos managed yeah, this Chaos Lord also one cap somehow. Case out for some of these warriors. Sa, 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 sa. And with some power harassment uh, from Ace of Swords over here. Did he get some gens? I don't think Rafa has built any other. Or? Yeah, uh, Rafa did actually lose one generator. And it's oh. gonna build three. Ballsy move from Rafa, building three generators in the face of Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords gonna have to try and kite these Chaos Space Marines who are trying to force melee, losing three members already. Two members already, I can't count. Three members, there you go, four members! There's a crippling volley and double retreat. And double retreat. Meanwhile, <laughs> Chaos Lord just tanking some damage again. Here the weak is off cooldown, I think. It's on cooldown at the enemy. Right, and Lictor Alpha apparently uh, can't attack. And apparently, it looks like they're gonna veto, and only if saw just deciding no, just to go forward. Um, Pretty confident that he'll be able to hold this game, since he did actually manage. He's quite a far ahead of Rafa. Rafa's only on 104 power and still not upgraded, while Ace of Swords is on 42 power and upgraded to tier two. Yeah, and not only that, uh, Ace of Swords apparently has noted both uh, contested power points, so Rafa can't even be kept them quite as fast. Right. We well, might see what is the range of the Lipsis Alpha Flesh Hook, and those guys do jump. Warriors jumping on this the um, chain knockback from the Warriors leap. Very effective and very annoying. This case means means might be able to tank it. No, they do lose a member. Instant suppression from the Havoc saves the squad, but we might see a flesh hook from the Elixir Alpha. No, decides to suppress them, <laughs> knock them back to slap them down and walk out of that, saving the Warriors from um, taking any extra damage. Extra, extra damage? Extra damage. <laughs> but yeah, now they are in retreat. So Havoc's finally doing something useful for Rafa. He said bleeding and uh, heretics on, on the west side, eastern side at this, uh, getting almost killed. Only down to two members. Probably that far that member further back will probably end up going down if he decides to fix fire, but he decides to decide to fix fire and decides to go for that fully matured red point. Heretics using worship, there it is. To get Poor the worship lord in, yes. speed. And, and there's some have, spawn is, that, mines. is that a spawn mine? Dropped in, yes, for sure. Um, be some, yeah, spawn mines are dropping down to deal with those heretics. Heretics charging the spawn mines. Trying to take him down, it. and Ruff is actually going to let them do that. And look at the damage that is causing oh, yeah. Ruff. has to retreat out of there. <laughs> using almost. Third explosion, yes. Using but, seven uh, members. And he's lost me mine. Being kind of one volley. Can't emulate. emulate. Okay, okay, Space not... Marines do manage to take down that lone spawn mine. Chaos Lord is also forced to retreat out of there. So you can obviously, guys, you can see the effectiveness of having two Termagons. Termagons? I'm going to say Hermagons. That's a new name for them. They're now called Termagons. Hermagons. Termagons. Yeah. Um, which are very effective at kiting and All just these Havocs it. now in very much trouble, and Rafa might lose the squad if he doesn't, because, yeah, he retreats, but it's still dangerous because these Hormagons are in synapse oh. range and they are monsters in free killing. Yeah, they're very, very quick, and he probably will end up losing this squad if they take eight one more hit. Eight. One more leap, I oh, know! He oh, activates his close. black man sprint and manages to run out of there. Oh, yeah. Turn to Usain Bolt. But we do have a Tyrant Guard coming out from Ace of Swords, and DJ Rafa going with the Blood Crusher. So um, I'm actually not sure who out of um, these two 
uh, units who would actually win in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Um, yeah, it's difficult to say really, um, but I think the uh, Tyrant Guard will have the upper hand. But the Blood Crusher can be worshipped, of course. Of course. Um, and that might be the nail in the coffin for the um, Tyrant Guard, but I'm not too sure about that. Mm -hmm. We might have uh, want Indra to do some more arena of judgment <laughs> stuff. Yeah, exactly. To decide that. So, um, Indra, we've given you a task. Now you must do that if you're watching. Yeah. Uh, NPC, um, Endless Swarm for all three Gants and Gaunts. Uh, squats. Right. And melee synapse for the warrior boot. Yes, we might have expected. Which is going to give them heavy melee damage against um, the blood crusher, which is going to be very effective. Uh, Heretic's worshipping, but I haven't got any support. Needs to move back a bit. And there's the havoc. Yeah. Opening havoc. on all the stuff. And the heretics are in trouble. Had some huge yeah. amounts of trouble activating bloodlust, but it's not effective at all. Too much fire coming incoming from the enemy. Um, Termagants and this blood crusher needs to be very careful. These Hormagons charging into battle, managing to tie up this chaos havocs, and th that's, that's an entire retreat from Ace, um, from DJ Ruffa. Yeah, really good engagement for Ace of Swords there. Just losing a warrior mo group model and nothing else really. Uh, Licto Alpha is still around. Mm. Tyrant Guard didn't lose some uh, a lot of health, and now there's. Uh, Black yeah. Crusher <laughs> getting in on these Hormogons and he's not really it's just insane how much damage these Hormogons can tank with some upgrades yeah. there's a second capillary tower on and now we see uh, the epic battle between the Black Crusher and the uh, Talent Guard but it's going to take way too much damage he needs to get out of there, really needs to move out of there yeah, he um, gets worshipped and he gets away so this Tyrant Guard all of it all of, uh, all of a sudden is in trouble. And look at the damage from those blood layers being really effective. Oh yeah. Blood layers no longer do um, heavy melee, was it before in retail? Right. Now they do power melee, so not um, as effective against vehicles, but that Tyrant Guard um, is a monster and counts as um, heavy infantry, which is why they were doing so much damage to it. Exactly. Super heavy infantry in fact. Alright, super heavy infantry. Um and the um the piece were very much evened out before this engagement, but now um, Ace of Swords has a little bit about 80 points is he ahead at mm. the moment. And, and also has a tech lead. Yeah, he is in tier 3 and these capillary towers have to be... Uh, yeah, um, Rafa has to deal with them um, at some point. And he's not capping the victory point for some reason. Deciding to leave it behind, it's interesting. Uh, Chaos Space remains probably out of bugs. Uh, now he's on the field again. And Look at that storm. I would not stick around if I saw those guys charging towards me. Um, yes. Probably Especially wondering, Commander, could, could we retreat now? Commander? Commander? Yay! And then they go, probably doing that to actually buy, him some, <laughs> buy himself some time to take down these generators. Yeah, and have us get away again, just very close. <laughs> now really with like one member. Yes. And now this leaves the heretics. So we might see a... Um, uh, Bash Race generation. Um. Yeah, and double upgraded Toxin Sec Termagants with their Warrior Synapse Leader apparently. Ooh, man, that's going to be so. huge amounts of damage. That Blood Crusher does count as a vehicle, so it's in huge amounts of trouble from those guys. Yeah. You should be very careful. And it's uh. 1600 HP for a level 2 Termagant group. Um, not even in uh, with ranged Synapse. Exactly. It's actually insane. Um, so how do you think Ruffle will actually have applied to this? He hasn't got his units, obviously his units are up there trying to deal with um, that generator farm and capping. Well it's di uh, difficult, um, he, he gets the power bash off uh, uh, the counter bash and kills some mm. uh, spawn ones. But I think he is in very much pressure BP wise and he has to get some adequate responses to the, uh, yeah, to, to the composition that Ace of Source had in, at the moment. It doesn't feel like it's very powerful because it's just great gants and guns and, and, and mm. one single boulder boot model. But mm, uh, they ooh, tank that's a like very, crazy. very risky teleport. Oh yes. And of course, um, Ace of Swords will go for a Carnifex or Stormlord soon mm. enough because he will be there. Yeah, he's, 
Yeah, he's saving the resources, so as soon as he probably hits 150, he'll be... Or one, is it 160 power for the uh, Karn effects? I, I think it's 160, yes. Yeah, 160 power, so as soon as he hits that, he'll be going for a uh, Karn effects, like you said. Which will put Rafa in huge amounts of trouble. Maybe he should have went for um, a Plague Marine squad, just to be, just to be sure. It's just to be safe. only 150 power. Mm. Well, the Havoc squad is still, a, uh, still on the fields, surprisingly. You know? <laughs> considering all the damage they've taken. And, yeah, and, and Rafa is in big amounts of trouble. Um, look at the map, it's just very blue. Mm. And Carnifex is on the way, and Rafa is very far away from uh, getting a real counter to this. He can get his um, a last cannon, but that's about it. Oh, that's a very risky teleport. I think maybe, do you think Raptors probably would have been better, a better choice than the second Bloodletters? Just to kind of slow the army down. Um, I would have not gone for a jump unit at all. Uh, mm. I, I think a maybe a yeah, <laughs> really can't say that a Zinch dreadnought maybe with their oh, yeah, barrage. Exactly. Um, not only because uh, to counter all this block, but uh, to be very effective against a Carnifex. Right. Um, but it's really difficult to say what would have been a nice. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, what I, nice I mean, he has a lot of demons on the field, so he might want to get maybe a second heretic squad on the field to All right to support them. Yes. Does um heretic worship actually stack? Or Especially chaos lords uh, right. worship. And these and these bloodletters need to be very careful. Probably yes. not good name to defeat that kind of fix that has been upgraded. Has it been upgraded before? No, back? It oh no, it's got any upgrade at the moment. Everything standing around doing nothing. And there's the concede. So oh, yeah. GG. Uh, Ace of Swords managed to take round one quite um, convincingly, actually. Look at the amount of units he had on the fields at that point.